I am Wayne Hartshew, Executive Director of the Delaware Center for Educational Technology, part of the Delaware Department of Education. When I consider how technology is transforming our public schools, I realize that in our digital world, no organization, including education, can achieve results without incorporating technology into its everyday practices. To truly realize the effects that technology can have on education, we need to consider those everyday practices and determine how technology can support them. I will discuss three of those practices and how we are addressing technology implementation in Delaware. The first and most important is curriculum and instruction through our EMENS program. The second is professional development through eLearning Delaware. And the third is student assessment data through our development of the Delaware Comprehensive Assessment System. The Maximizing the Impact report states, it's time to focus on what students need to learn and on how to create a 21st century education system that delivers results. Delaware has done a good job of the what by developing content standards and aligning curriculum to meet those standards. To address the how, we have committed uh, No Child Left Behind Title II Part D E2T2 funds to the implementation of the EMENS program based on the long-term results from Missouri and the replication from other states. EMENS provides a model that is innovative and provides exemplary approaches that combine instructional strategies, technology, and professional development. With proven results of increasing student achievement, the model drives a transformation of the learning environment by providing a high-tech classroom that emphasizes inquiry-based teaching, cooperative learning, and the development of higher-order thinking skills. E-Learning Delaware is Delaware's implementation of the E-Learning for Educators initiative, a project funded through the federal Ready to Teach grant and a collaboration between 10 state education agencies and associated public broadcast stations. E-Learning Delaware uses a web-based model to provide effective professional development opportunities that lead to gains in teachers' content knowledge, improvements in their teaching practices, and an increase in the achievement levels of their students. Since the spring of 2006, we have built our statewide capacity to deliver online professional development by training online course facilitators and developers and implemented a course management system to deliver the courses. We have delivered over 130 online courses to over 2,000 Delaware educators and developed online courses related to Delaware recommended curriculum and required science training such as an Earth History course. The Earth History professional development course has been a notable accomplishment. WHYY, P Delaware's PBS station affiliate, in collaboration with DOE science personnel, produce supplementary video segments that are an integral part of the online course content. We are following the same model of producing and incorporating video segments into the Delaware Watersheds course and the weather course that are currently under development. We are extremely pleased that the federal grant has given us the opportunity to collaborate with our local PBS station in the development of high quality video to support online professional development. The state of Delaware is redesigning its student assessment program. The current Delaware student testing program in place since 1998 will be replaced by the Delaware comprehensive assessment system in the 2010-11 school year. Why am I talking about assessment when we're here to talk about how technology is transforming public schools? The Delaware Comprehensive Assessment System is an entirely online assessment. Delaware is moving to an online assessment because we want to provide immediate results, provide diagnostic reports to teachers within two days, provide students with multiple opportunities to pass, and be able to assess student achievement from an entire school year. This can only be done with online assessment. Another driving factor is the desire to increase student access to technology. With the implementation comes a four-year replacement cycle for computers, and the computers will be used for instruction whenever testing is not being done. Greater access to technology and integration into the curriculum are critical if we are to prepare students for the workplace of tomorrow. The good news is that we have made positive strides forward in Delaware by using technology to transform our public schools. This is seen at the curriculum and instruction level, the professional development level, and the statewide assessment level. EMENS and eLearning Delaware are just two of many examples of how technology is transforming education in Delaware public schools. Unfortunately, as is the case in most states, we still have pockets of excellence rather than systemic transformation. With our transition to the Delaware Comprehensive Assessment System, we are moving towards systemic transformation. The bold move of taking all statewide assessment online will also drive an increased use of technology and curriculum instruction as well as professional development. In conclusion, 
We hope these efforts to use technology to transform our public schools will be seen as a catalyst of change, even an accelerator of change. Thank you for your time and your support of technology and education for our nation's children.